What is going on guys, it's Bucky, and in this video, I want to talk to you guys about the filtering flask. Now, a filtering flask looks a lot like an Erlenmeyer flask, but it has a little sidearm on the side right there. Now, this sidearm is so you can hook up a vacuum tube to it, and that's pretty much what I'm going to be showing you guys later. But the overall job of a filtering flask is to pretty much speed up filtration. So let me go ahead and show you guys, you know, a quick example of filtration and it'll be easier to understand exactly how this thing works. Now, in order to use a filtering flask right here, you actually need more than just the filtering flask. You need a whole bunch of stuff and this stuff is actually usually sold in a kit. I got all of these as one kit, including the paper. So let me go ahead and go through the pieces right now. Of course, I already talked to you guys about the filtering flask itself. This thing right here is called a Buchner funnel, and this is essentially going to go inside here. And it just makes pouring the mixture in a little bit easier. And aside from that, you have a rubber stopper, and this is just to make a good seal between the funnel and the flask. Aside from that, you have your vacuum pump. I have a hand pump because I really don't do a lot of filtering, so I can just do mine by hand. But other systems, more complex systems, are actually built right into the lab like whenever you go to college or anything but mine's just a simple hand pump and the last thing you need is filter paper now this is kinda like a coffee filter but smaller and you know more scientific of course now in order to set this up the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have a hose connected on your vacuum pump I assume that you're using a hand pump like me now take the other end of the hose and put it tightly on your filtering flask and you can use a little oil if it goes on there tightly. And you don't need to get it all the way on. You just need to, you know, have enough to make a good connection so that there's no air leaking at the seal. So after that, go ahead and take your rubber stopper and put it right on your filtering flask like that. Now you put this on because what we're essentially going to do is we're going to add the funnel on top so it makes the solution easier to go in the flask. However, if you just have it like this, it's going to be really loose, and we don't like loose things, of course, so what we need to do is we need to use a special stopper that, well, it pretty much came with the kit. So go ahead and put that on, and then go ahead and put your funnel on, just like that, and look at that, nice and tight, beautiful. Now this is my mixture right here, it's just a really simple mixture I made for demonstration, just some sand and some water. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to filter the sand from the water. So we're going to be pouring this in the top of the Buchner funnel right here. But before we do, what we want to do is we want to add a piece of filter paper so we can get a more fine filtration. Now as you can see, this paper is just kind of, you know, it doesn't make a really good seal. So in order to, you know, make this paper stick to the funnel a little bit better before we start pouring our mixture in, just go ahead and grab a little water and as you can see whenever I pour it on the filter paper right here it's gonna make that paper stick to the funnel and make a real good seal and this doesn't mess up your experiment at all because this water is actually part of the mixture itself so now as you can see our paper makes a really good seal and none of our mixture is gonna go between the sides of the paper in the funnel so now of course the only thing left to do is to go ahead and filter our mixture. So, as you can see, I have a mixture of sand and water here. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and pour all of this in the top of the funnel, and there's gonna be a little bit of sand left over. And usually, what you would wanna do if you were doing this for real, sorry about the noise, is you would basically want to um, rinse this out with water just to make sure that you know there's no sand left over but just for this demonstration um, it doesn't really matter if there's sand left over or not now as you can see this is filtering of course but it's going really slow drip by drip by drip at this rate it's gonna take about an hour to get all that water um, you know separated from the sand so what you do is you actually again make sure you have a good connection here I'm gonna go ahead and start pumping and whenever I do, keep an eye on this, you know, water right here. It's going to turn from a drip to a stream. And let me go ahead and start pumping right now and check that out. Now what's happening here is this vacuum is basically creating negative pressure. 
So basically it's taking all the air from this bottle and sucking it out. Now whenever it sucks it out, it pretty much pulls down the water faster, leaving you with nothing but dry sand on top. So again, basically what this does is it speeds up the filtration process by a lot. And it does that again, exactly like I said. And instead of this process taking, you know, an hour or two, I just filtered that entire mixture in about, I don't know, 20 seconds probably.